there was some folks that were flagging concerns that you would be the first postmaster general uh, in two decades without previous experience or service directly in the USPS. But to be fair, and as you mentioned, um, you do have extensive career experience in supply chain logistics, correct? I do. Uh, Mr. DeJoy, you've received about $1.86 uh, $1 million in rental payments uh, from your former company, XPO, correct? Uh, approximately, yes. Have you taken any meetings with XPO Logistics since becoming Postmaster General? I have not. Have you emailed, texted, called, video conferenced, or communicated with your former company, XPO Logistics? I have many friends at the company, and I've spoken to them casually. Uh, uh, over the last several months, yes, I probably would have spoken to him. Thank you. Now, you started in your role as Postmaster General on June 16th of this year. That's a very big job. Don't need to tell you that. And it has a lot of responsibility. You mentioned meeting with President Trump, uh, Secretary Mnuchin. I can't even imagine how busy that must be. Now, um, do you keep a daily calendar? Uh, I do, yeah. Uh, have you or your staff made any deletions to your calendar since becoming Postmaster General on June 16th? I don't, I don't think so. You don't think so? Mm -hmm. um, have eth do ethics officers at USPS have access to your calendar to screen conflicts of interest? We have an ethics officer that looks at meetings that I have, yes. And they have uh, full access to your calendar? Uh, they will work, yes. Uh, can we get a commitment from you to submit your uh, calendar dating back to June 16th to this committee? I don't know. I'll check with counsel. Um, well, you know. I want to set a precedent for my calendar to be submitted every two months. Well, uh, according to, to regulations that we currently have, electronic calendars that are uh, submitted and maintained on USPS computers are agency records. And so can we get your commitment to hand that calendar over to this if, committee as a matter of course for in investigation? Fact, I, I'm new to this. If that is in fact a process that uh, our council says I must comply with, then I will do that, yes. Thank you. Um, Madam, uh, Madam Chairwoman, I would say, you know, the details of this calendar are extraordinarily important to the committee's investigations, and if we cannot receive them uh, voluntarily, I would recommend consideration of a subpoena for these details. Um, now, lastly, and selfishly, I represent New York's 14th Congressional District. Uh, we have written the agency several times uh, regarding accessibility for a ramp in our historic Jackson Heights Post Office. And I would greatly appreciate uh, return correspondence to make sure that we can ensure that our disabled and elderly uh, constituents can uh, get access to the post office.